Hey, welcome back. I'm so excited to show you the motherboard that I just got. This is one of the best motherboards out there. This is the ASUS ROG Strikes Z790E Gaming Wi-Fi 2 motherboard. Now, why the Wi-Fi 2? Because the previous generation was only Wi-Fi 6E. This one actually includes Wi-Fi 7 on this board. And this just came out, so this is one of the best motherboards to get. All right, I'm going to open this box and then show you what's inside and show you around the motherboard. All right, well, first, we're going to come over here. Look, at, we have the top view. Now we're looking at the front view. The front view right there, we have the ROG Strikes Z790 right there, logo right there, along with the serial numbers over here, which I've covered up. This is the left side where it shows you the different languages. And on the back, it gives you a big red logo. And then on this side, again, the name of the motherboard with ASUS right there. Then on the back side has another picture of the motherboard and it shows you all the features and it's 18 plus 1 plus 2 power stages, a premium connectivity with the Q antenna, the PCIe slots, quick release, the Q release, and then also the Gen 5 M.2 combo sync. And also, this gives you all the details right here, and I'm going to open this to show you what where all this is and where it is on the board. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. First of all, I've pre-cut this right here. You have to cut this open, so you just have to open and then... Pull out right there, and that just comes out right there. All right, the first thing we see when we look inside, we see the motherboard all wrapped up, and this is a little tray that carries the motherboard right here. So we're gonna take that out, and I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna show you what's inside the box first before we go see what exactly is on the motherboard. Here, it looks like we have a sheet of stickers right there, and right here, just some instructions about the web storage all right put that to the side we have to lift this and look underneath look underneath we have two more things we have an accessories bag right there and we also have the antenna right there so we're gonna put this box to the side since that is all that is in the box all right let's go take a look at the we don't need the antennas that's just the antenna let's look at what the accessories bag comes with all right, go open this. This is the accessory bag. Let's see what comes in it. We have some zip ties right there. We have, oh, looks like this is a extra quick release plastic and screw. Here's some zero ATA cables. Hey, look what we have here. Looks like, looks like a key ring. They sent you a key ring, so that's pretty cool. A little extra thing right there. A little plastic tab. Some more plastic thermal pad this is for also the uh your m.2 ssds another quick release looks like plastic um part extra part right there and a few more pads for the m.2 ssds right there that's what that looks like right there so that's what comes in the accessory box all right now what everyone has been waiting for is the actual motherboard itself right here all right let's get this motherboard out let's see lift it from this side and what's cool about this motherboard, it has a little foam on the back so you don't stick yourself with all the soldering that's underneath. I'm gonna flip this so I can have a place to put this motherboard. Let's go ahead and open this from the left, take this side, and let's take a look. Wow, that's so neat, right there. Looks like nice heat sinks right all around. This is all metal heat sinks right there. Let's go ahead and turn this around and look at the uh, connectivity. Let's go ahead and tilt this up so you can see it. Right over here. You have your display port, your HDMI port. Looks like uh, your bunch of USBs. I believe they had like 10 or 11 USBs, the 10 gigabyte USBs, along with the, along with the USB-C connectivity here. And this is actually your 20 gigabyte USB-C connector right there. Here's your clear CMOS and then your BIOS flashback. Your two Q Connect Wi-Fi uh, seven ports, your gold-plated audio ports, and also your Optigo spit it out port right there. All right, let's go ahead and look at this motherboard. Let's see, let's walk around it and see what we have. All right, here we have your two power connectors right there. And then as we move on, we have your AIO pump header right there. Here are some RGB headers, I believe that's right here. Um, that's cool. So they put that right there for you. 
And then let's go ahead and walk around. Here's your main power right there. And then these are for your USB 20 gigabyte port right there, your type C. And then here's another USB header right there for you. Over here, right here, one, two, three, four. Let's see if, I don't know if you can see that. There's your four zero ATA ports right there. You have another USB header right there. And then we'll walk around this way. All right, what do we have here? Over here, you have your pins for all your uh, supporting items, your on off button and a, and a bunch more for your basically your uh, computer panels that's your battery these are your fans your fans more usb 2.0 headers right there and then over here you have your thunder port header right there and then a few more for for fans i think do you have a fan right here you have a fan right there you have some more rgbs right there usb and and this has a a few more for audio right there, I believe. So, also, let's look at the slots. Here are your DDR slots right here, your DDR5 slots. These are all the things that make this the, the power for this, your 18, your 18 plus two plus one right there. That's your uh, power, uh, or plus one plus two. That's right there. And then, you, of course, you have your CPU socket right there for your Intel LGA 1700 socket right there. Expansion slots right here. Here is your three expansion slots right here. You have your PCIe 5.0 right there. And then you have your 4.0s right here. And then right here you have your slots. Underneath here you have your two slots for your um, SSDs. Um, these two right here are, um, there's one 5.0 and I believe over here are some of your other 4.0 M2.2, 2.3, 2 2.4 um, SSD slots all underneath these heat sinks right there. So um, we'll start opening those when I actually start building the computer. And you can subscribe and like my video so you can actually know when the next uh, video comes out, which I will be actually building this computer with you live. Well, actually not really live, but I'll be building the computer You'll see how an amateur does it and how long it might take me to actually build this computer. You don't have to be a professional to do this, but I'm just showing you what a regular guy can do. It's not that hard. So I will show you how to do that in the next video. This is one more uh, look at the motherboard. One of the best motherboards out there and hope you get one too. There is a link below to the motherboard. I'm buying it from Amazon. All right, please like and subscribe to my videos if you like all my content. And I will see you next time.